Michael. What's going on, mate? Mm, bye -bye. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I don't know if you're going to make people forget about Ricky Ricardo, though. <laughs> I'm doing a little uh, volunteer work at the hospital, remember? Oh, that's right. Lawrence Nightingale. Hey, listen, it'll be good medicine. <laughs> Thanks, remember? They asked me to work for the children first, so I thought that it would be a nice idea if I did something from a little... You know, south of the border kind of thing. It is a good idea. Thank you. And then uh, I thought I would let them take a whack at my piñata here. It's a good idea as well. If they don't take a whack at that, they can take a whack at that pinata right yeah? there. Yeah, yeah, come on. Hold on. I think we Very lucky. Delivery. You're lucky. Right. <clears throat> on your homework, Captain? Almost. Oh, don't throw away that paper. I promised Roger I'd pick out a movie tonight. Mm -hmm. Can you be home for dinner? No, I'll probably get something to eat after the... Mm. Morning. Hello. Ah, why haven't you left for school yet? Um, today's split sessions. I don't start school till 11.30. Uh-huh. No, don't let me interrupt you. We went. I'll just finish this. <laughs> hmm. So, uh, what were you talking about? Nothing. I guess it couldn't have anything to do with Roger. Robin has a date with Roger. I don't recall being consulted on this. Dad, I thought we worked this out. Well, we would. You just dropped the subject. I don't believe this. What? You're so... so arbitrary. Now, now that impresses me. What? The use of a multi-syllable word. I mean, not so long ago you would have referred to me as... weird or a dweeb or... Fickle. That was... What does it look like? I'm helping you pack. It looks like we have something to talk about. We don't have anything to talk about. I will not dishonor my father's memory by having him kill or help run the company he started. I don't believe that's a choice you alone can make. Like I want you out. Not until we talk. And you will listen. do you think you are? I don't take orders from you. Now you get out or I'll call security and have them throw you out. I don't think so. You watch me. Miss Barrett, I understand your feelings. Of course you're entitled to your feelings. But Harlan had a gun to a man's head. He was about to blow his brains out. I've tried to explain this to you over and over again. And I've tried to explain to you over and over again that I don't give a damn about your excuses. This never would have happened if you would have explained to Daddy in the first place. You're wrong! I guess we disagree, don't we? I guess we do. You get out. This is my office. You get out. I don't ever want to see you again. You don't get it, do you? This isn't a lover's quarrel. This isn't some little misunderstanding that you can talk your way out of. You took my father from me, and I will never forgive you for that. Now you get out! You can trash this office, you can break everything in here, you can have yourself a good time, but I will never leave this company! How do you take it? As is. No cream, no sugar. Well, you make things easy. <laughs> well, wish me luck. Well, don't let the kids wear you out, mate. Uh, Connor's doing a show for the kids at General. Oh. Yeah, music is part of the healing process. 
Oh, that sounds familiar. I took a class there on psychological nursing, and uh, I'm glad to see they're putting their theories into action. <laughs> yeah, I'm the guinea pig. No, I think the kids are the guinea pigs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see you again. See you later. Have fun. <sighs> well, now, uh... I'm curious. As to why I'm here. Oh, not that I'm not glad to see you. I'm sure it's not the weather that brought you to Port Charles. No, it's uh, strictly professional. Oh, really? Yeah, I decided to attend a, a follow-up seminar on the classes I took at General Hospital. Oh, that's great. Yeah. But you didn't mention that when I was at Shadowbrook. Well, I hadn't made up my mind yet, and I wasn't even sure if they'd let me off, so... How's Dominique? Just fine, except for that little bout of depression that she had after you left. I didn't know about that. How could you? Great. So my visit did make things worse. But your intentions were good. Thanks for trying to get me off the hook. Look, berating yourself isn't going to help. Trust me. I know Dominique. I know her case. I mean, there's a limit as to what anyone can do at this point. Thanks. For what? Well, for listening. I mean, I feel like I'm in the middle here. You know, I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if I don't. Anytime. That's what friends are for, even new friends like me. I'm glad you're here. Well, I'm sure you'd rather it was Dominique, but, um, don't despair. Maybe someday soon. You know, that time, I want to make sure. It just gets so bloody complicated. <sighs> Dominique told me about the happy times. About our great apartment in Port Charles. I'd love to see it sometime. Do you think I could? Sure. It's right upstairs. How about right now? Sure. All right. <laughs> we'll have the coffee when we get back. All right. Dad, please? No. I don't believe this. I don't know why you're doing this to me. You said I was arbitrary. Yeah, and you're also being unreal, unreasonable, and anti manti -diluvian. The word is anti -diluvian. And do you have the slightest idea what it means? Yes, it means you're a dinosaur when it comes to knowing about teenagers. My darling daughter. As the police commissioner of this burg, I could curl your hair about tales regarding your peers. Dad, Roger's not that kind of person. Well, I don't know him that well, do I? Besides, I thought people were innocent until proven guilty. Mm, a little knowledge. I'm staying out of this battle this is between you two. You think I'm being overprotective? Good Lord, if the shoe fit any better, you'd be Cinderella. Come on, Annie, you know what it's like out there. Out where? I'm talking to your mother. Well, why? Roger didn't ask me out on a date, he asked your daughter. What's the big deal anyways? I mean, I won't be out late, nor I'm gonna be. What more do you want? I'm just objecting on the principle of the matter. I mean, you're 14 years of age, and there's plenty of time in your life to date. Okay, well, I do have to say something to that. <clears throat> and what I have to say is that I admire Robin for coming forward and asking our permission, whereas most kids just run around behind their parents' backs. Yeah. All right. And I admire that, too. So, it proves that she trusts us. And I think we should offer her the same common courtesy. It's two against one, Dad. Who <coughs> asked you? <laughs> oh, look, I can't fight everybody, including the dog. Thanks, Dad. Good dog. You ready, baby? Oh. Just about scared the daylight out on me. Yeah, you, uh, you scared me, too. <laughs> uh, we're supposed to meet Tony at the hospital, remember? I sure do. Where'd you get this? I was about to ask you the same question. Well, I was getting some old photos from the upstairs closet. And it was in the back and it just kind of tumbled down right on top of me. Hmm. That's a, uh, Mexican f festival mask. Must have been a festival that I missed. <laughs> it was long before we were ever married. Darling, we've been married forever. <laughs> now, come on, that's up. Who is this? Hmm? Yeah, I love you even more when you're jealous. Oh. Who is it? I forgot I even had this thing. I think we should get rid of it. Oh, no, no, no. I think it's, you know, quite festive if you like this kind of thing. Honey, it's only gathering dust. 
dust, dust on that uh, closet. Well, that's shelf. exactly what I thought. I just dusted it off, and I think we should hang it right here. We'll move this picture and hang it. What do you think? I have a better place for it. Where? Right, um... Here. Okay. Ah. It's your mask. All right, sweetheart, uh, we have to bomb house. Tony is waiting for me. Oh, okay. You get the car. I'll fix my face. Why fix it if it's not broke? Oh, yeah. yeah, well, I think the kids are going to love it. Well, because it's different, you know? And I feel bad when they get stuck in here on the holidays and they just feel like, you know, you look at their little faces. I think the thought of just having anything different will be very exciting for them. Yeah, I think he's coming all dressed up. Uh-huh. Well, that's it. I just don't want him sitting in my office. So tell him that I'm up here and that I'm waiting for him when he gets there. You looking Thank for you. me? Oh, honey, hi. No, usually, but not at the moment. Well, who's the guy? Connor. Connor's coming. He's entertaining the kids today. Well, that's okay. As long as he doesn't worm his way into my <laughs> Santa Claus gig. And I thought you were going to be locked in mortal combat with that virus. You thought wrong. You're not giving up, are you? I think I solved the problem. <gasps> Thing. Honey, that's wonderful. Now, I called Tiffany in this morning. I have to get a blood sample from her. I'm pretty sure. You're a genius. You are my yeah. genius husband. You're a genius. Oh, hey. my brig and persistent. Hi. Simpson. Welcome back. Thank you. You ready to go back to work? You mean in the lab? Of course, in the lab. Where else? Well, I, I don't know. I thought maybe you found, you know, a replacement for me. I oh, never looked gone. for a replacement because I knew you'd be cleared of the charges. Well, you had a lot more confidence than I did. Tell you when they found those drugs in my locker, my whole life passed in front of my face. Everybody's going to be very glad to have you back. Not half as glad as I am. So anyway, how's uh, the work going? No big deal. Gonna find a cure today, probably. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Doc. Hey, you made a big contribution, you oh, know. Oh, yeah. All I did was hold the test tube. You should it. see him hold the test tube. He's too modest. Mm -hmm. And you're too generous, but I'm not going to argue with my elders. Gosh, we should form a fan club for each other. We we'll should. see you later, elders. okay? Elders. El elders? Did you say elders? said elders. So what's our drill today? <laughs> Blood sample from Tiffany Hill. Dr. Jones. Oh. oh. Hey. Whoa, look at you. This is, turn around, let me see. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you look fabulous. Oh, it's great. <laughs> It's just, what do you got? What's this? Oh, it's my orchestra. Yeah, ready. I'm sure. They've been so angry. They're so excited. I didn't tell oh, them it was good. you. I told them it was a surprise. So I'll go tell them you're here, and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll see you later. Sean Donnelly, Tiffany, and the, he are on the way. Mm -hmm. And, well, uh, that concludes the tour. So different than I imagined. Are you disappointed? Oh, no, not at all. It's just that, um... Oh, never mind. It's not important. No, no wait. Did Dominique give you a different impression? She did. It's funny. I thought she liked the place. Oh, she did. She loved it. And and being here with you was was the happiest time in her life. It's, it's just that how she described it, you know, the style and decor is so far from the reality that, um... Well... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, that's all right. I mean, the truth is we all see things differently, don't we? That's right. Yes, sure. Anyway, anybody would love this place. Well, look, I can't take credit. I mean, um, the previous owner was kind of an absentee, a dilettante impresario. Mm -hmm. Owned the club as well, and as I understand it, he uh, just got tired of the whole thing one day and took off. I'm surprised you don't live here yourself. Yeah, it's too close to work. Too many memories. I can understand that. Uh, didn't you say that you had two classes, uh, two days worth of classes at general? Yes, yes, uh-huh. So where are you staying? Well, I thought I'd check out the Port Charles Hotel if the price is right, um, or I'd look in the yellow pages. Why, why bother? You can use this apartment. Oh, well, well that's sweet, but um, I don't think I should. Why not? Well, I mean, I'd, I'd feel funny. Um, this place meant a lot to Dominique. Um, she might take offense. No, listen, I think Dominique would want you to stay here. Listen, you've been a good friend. 
And besides, the place would be better off with a woman in it. Well, it's, it's, it's just for one night, really. It's better than nothing. Yeah, uh, well, uh, do you think I should? You know, you're the first person I've asked to stay here. I should tell you something. It does. Well? I accept your offer. Great. Great. Look, I'll go down and get your bags. Thank you, ma'am. It'll be nice having someone around the place. And uh, also to help with Christmas coming. I mean, the price of the hotel and everything. I mean... Oh, gosh. Know. Don't remind me about Christmas. I mean, I've had... There's been so much going on in Port Charles. I haven't even had time to think about it. You know, it's, it, there's not much shopping in Danbury either, so maybe I should take advantage and do my shopping here. Um, what's the best department store in town? Wyndham's. Hmm. I could go now. No, wait, you know, listen, I've got some paperwork to do. Uh, why don't we order in something and uh, you can do your shopping later? Or you could do your paperwork later and we could do our Christmas shopping together and grab some lunch. That's a great idea. And the stores won't be crowded. And you can help me with my presents. Perfect. I'm so glad you thought of it. We both needed some time to cool off. Maybe we can talk now. I hope so. Julia, I don't know how to put my feelings into words. I know I can never change what I did. I can never bring Harlan back. And I can't even ease your pain. Your loss. I don't know. I'm helpless. I don't know what to do about that. I hope. I just. Can you understand what I'm trying to say? I meant what I said before. I know. But. I'm sorry. I realize now that we. We can't solve this with emotional confrontation. Good. Right. No more confrontations. Good. So then, what I would appreciate is your considering a renewal of the buyout proposal that we had drawn up after Sly's custody hearing. What? It's still a good deal for you. No, it isn't. Yet my lawyer assures me that all we'd need is a date change and a few minor modifications. No. I can up the ante if that's what it needs. You can't up it high enough. All right. If you would like to make a counterproposal, fine. Have it on my desk by the end of business today. The hell with what you want! I'll offer you cash, as before. Whatever it takes. Excuse me. Mm. Oh, which one do you think's better, this one or the plaid one? That's nice. The other one was nice. Yeah, so was the one before the other one. That was nice, too. Well, that's a big help. Come on, Freddy. Come here. Don't leave a pile of clothes on your bed, please. Yeah, Come on, Freddy. Make I just always have you. to tidy up. Why does she keep changing her clothes for school? I ignore it. It doesn't... How can I, though? I mean, every time she flounces down the stairs, I feel like I'm sitting by a catwalk. Robert, 
take your coffee into the kitchen and then Robin won't bother you and neither will you bother her. It doesn't upset you that she has this obsession with what she wears to school? There's nothing to do with school. I mean, it's to do with Roger. You know, if he doesn't like what she's wearing, he might change his mind about her. She told you that? No, she doesn't have to tell me. Roger has that much control? Is that it? No, no man has that much control. It's just in her head. <clears throat> Come on, I mean, her daughter's gorgeous. This kid ought to be lucky that she even speaks to him. Yeah, I agree with you. It's just the stage she's going through, that's all. All right, okay. Uh, you don't have to tell me that I'm not dealing very well with the way my little girl is growing up. Into a beautiful young woman. You're, you're rubbing it in now. No, I'm not. I'm just stating the fact. Uh, I could, maybe, maybe if I could just sleep through this whole dating era, you know? What about it? Well, that would mean that when you woke up, there'd be husbands and in-laws and babies and nappies. You're and right. Deal I wouldn't. With... You're right. I'm not ready for that yet. No, not at all. Oh. You're going to be fine. We'll survive. You deal with this so well, I mean, mm -hmm. what would I do without you? I don't know, I think you'd probably drive your daughter in. Uh, insane? Yes. <laughs> yeah. What? When? Anybody hurt? Touch me on this one. Yeah. Right. Oh, when does it end? What is it? Tob and Faison station escape. Tob was shot, killed. And? Faison got away. Yes. What are we going to do? Take it one step at a time. Do they know anything about Faison? Oh, they put out an APB. They're running in circles. Oh. It's Donald over again. It's not, Anna. Yes, it's, it is. It's no. not. He's we thought he was dead. We thought he was dead last time. Now we know he's alive. God. He's just incredibly lucky. His time hasn't come yet, and when it does, I want to be there. Why? What are you going to do? I want the satisfaction of shooting first and asking questions. Well, he about... wants you dead, too. So he can't come within a mile of this house. What time is it? It's almost 11. Okay. He'll use her. He'll use her to get to us like he did before. I remember. What are you doing? I'm going to organize some police protection for her to school. If that doesn't impress Roger, nothing will. No, honey, I'm serious. Tony sounded really up on the phone. Well, how up did he sound? I mean, well, I got the distinct feeling that we might be able to celebrate very soon. Hmm? Like it? Yeah. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Great, wasn't it great? Sure, if you tell me, is it? Honey, honey, honey. Hmm? Whoa. <laughs> isn't that great? 
Connor was great, didn't you think? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. So, thank you for coming in. Well, it was my pleasure. Listen to me, I sound like I've just been to a tea party. I wish all my patients had your spirit. Well, actually, I have enough spirit for two, for myself and for Paul's daughter, thank you. So, what's next, Tony? Analyze the blood sample, and if my hunch is right, we have a whale of a tea party. Huh? Oh, when will you know? Later this afternoon. I don't think I can wait that long. I'm so excited, I can't do anything. Are you too excited to go shopping, are you? Um, no. I'm never too excited so. to go shopping. <laughs> Look, I have a proposal for you, too, if it really is good news. Why don't you come over to our place tonight and celebrate? Oh, I gotta warn you, though, I'd take lemon with my tea. Forget the tea. You'll take your champagne straight. Mm -hmm. like that. Well, I'll have Bobby get a babysitter. Please feel free to bring somebody good like. Oh, thank you. Do you know anybody? <laughs> See you guys later. Okay, thank All you right, very much. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, what's the matter? I just remembered. I got to work here till 12 tonight. That's okay. I'll drink your champagne. I'm sure you will. You know, this doctor stuff, it's really putting a crimp in my social life. I should have been a bartender, or I should have sold life insurance. I think you're underqualified for both, actually. You really think so? Can you ask anybody, um, Ann and Robert, would you call them? I just hope they're in a party mood, that's all. Why the world would they be in a party mood? I mean, the case is closed, right? I mean, yeah, they've gone to Tauber in jail, of course they've Yes, that's, that's true. How do you know? You've got to relax. I am relaxed. It's not going to be better, Sean. It's not going to be the way. Okay. Okay. Positive attitude always works. Yeah. 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 Hey, uh, there's a... Uh, Police car in, in front of your house, sir. Yes, yes, I know. Oh, please come in, Roger. Thanks, Commissioner. Hi, Roger. Hi. Mr. Scorpio will do. Oh. Yeah, Mrs. Scorpio, too. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Scorpio. Hello. Hey, Robert. Hi. Hi. You look great. Really? I got just in such a hurry. Oh. <laughs> no, well, we better get going. We're going to be late. Yeah. Uh, well, it's all right. You don't have to walk. I don't? No. I have to ride in the squad car. You're welcome to come with me. Are you serious? I know, it's stupid. I'll just meet you at school. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, I wouldn't miss it for the world. I... I'm glad to hear you say that, because it's, uh, it's going to be your transportation for this evening as well. Dad, that's not funny. Enough, Robin. Mom. No, we've already had this discussion. End of story. Hey, Robin, it's cool. First? No, no. Being nice. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Really, really. Hey, look, I'll, I'll even take you to breakfast tomorrow if, if we've been riding the squad. Bye. Hey, there you go. It's cool, Anna. What's cool? Hey, oh, everything. Roger, Robin, Roger, Robin in a squad car and breakfast tomorrow, etc. It isn't cool, Robert. Sure it is, as long you as you're in the just squad. Just don't trust either of them. You don't trust her, and you don't trust her friend. Uh, well, separately, yes. Together, no. Never thought I'd be grateful to phase on for anything. I've had a thought about that. About phase on? You. What about me? Why you don't trust? Two perfectly trustworthy teenagers. Uh, apparently trustworthy. Let's not get too carried away now. Well, all right. Let me make it simple for you. Two teenagers. Because they remind you of the way you were. Well, that wasn't that that long ago, as I recall. So you remember it, then? Yes. Oh. Indeed, I do. Yes, I thought so. What does that mean? It means that you think those two kids are going to get up to exactly what you did. Come on, Anna, enough with the cheap psychoanalysis. No, he doesn't cheat. It's free. <clears throat> Tell me about your first date. <laughs> I'm taking the fifth on that one. No, come on, just tell me about the first time you snuck out of the house and stole the family car. No comment. Tell me about the first time you got up close and personal with a girl. <clears throat> Anna, this line of questioning will get you absolutely nowhere because my record at high school was perfect. That's what I was so afraid of.
but ever and a day. The radio and the telephone and the movies that we know may just be passing fancy. We have you to thank. You're the one that gave me the virus, which gave me a chance to find the cure, and I've given it to Tiffany, and now I'm going to give it to Susan. No, thank you. Okay, bye. <laughs> what did Paul say? Yeah, he was a little strange. He was overwhelmed. But I think he's thrilled for you, and he's thrilled for Susan. Oh, can I give your husband a great big hug? Be my guest. Yeah, back. Come here, come here. Oh. 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 Yeah, I feel like hugging oh. him myself. <laughs> Step aside. Oh, oh. Dr. T, you saved my woman. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> I hope that's a Mexican custom he's doing here. <laughs> so I will get the compound ready. I will give you one injection, and that should do it. Anything you say, Dr. T, I will do. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hi. thank you more drinks. What's the Hi, party? Oh, yeah, I'm so great to see you. We were trashing the night before. Oh. Congratulations. I mean, I, I left you a message. I'm so yeah, glad we got it. I'm very so happy for you, yeah, I'm, I'm so oh, glad for you. Very, you're so very hard. happy. I'm so glad you're okay. Come on, let's all go into the living room and have a nice party. Uh, okay. Oh, that nice. Thank you. Oh, yeah, have one, darling. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't you wait till I got here? Oh, I'm sorry. There's another one in the fridge. You heard the news? I told him plays one. Yeah, it was on the radio. Tiffany doesn't know yet, though. Come on, let's not spoil her party. All right. Fine, fine, fine. Um, 
When I crack this, I'd like to call up my brother. He doesn't know the good news yet. No, yeah, phone's right over there. Is it? What's that? Uh, just a piece of my past. Christmas shopping presents and people and walking. We my did legs, it. my dogs are Everything. pounding right now. They're screaming. <laughs> mm. I'll race you to the couch. You're on. Thanks. For what? I had a great time. It turned into a whole day. It did, didn't it? But I should thank you for taking time to come with me. The company was great. Thank you. Well, we had quite a lunch, didn't we? We did. We did. Remind me. We had a marvelous lunch at the Port Charles Hotel. Mm -hmm. How can I forget that? Tis the season. Right. <laughs> You're oh, no, no, no. I'm laughing at those two ladies from the kitchenware department. Fighting over that cookware. Right. I, you know, sometimes <laughs> people are crazy. In department stores. Mm-hmm. I know. You're such a good sport. I mean, you did my whole Christmas list with me. I mean, Aunt Emily and Uncle Ben and all the cousins from Duluth. No, and... I did real good myself. Yeah. Your brother Robert and your sister-in-law. Anna. And uh, Robin mm -hmm. and Connor. And your little friend, um... Finian. Finian yeah. O'Toole. Pajamas extra small. Wish I didn't have to go work at the club tonight. Poor Mac. I don't envy you. Mm, I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. <sighs> but right now, I think I'll take a shower. Oh, look, I'll give you your space for that. This is your space. Look, I better go. I'll pick up the packages tomorrow. I'll um, put them in the bedroom closet for you. All right, fine. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, I enjoy the company. It's, it's really rare that I feel so comfortable with somebody. You know, I feel the same thing. Wait a minute, don't move. You've got an eyelash. All right. Got <laughs> Probably the club. Excuse me. Hello? The club said you'd be there. Hey, Robbie, what's up? In case you didn't hear the news, uh, Dominic's husband is dead. Tob? You're kidding. What happened? Well, I'm at a party right now. I'll, uh, I'll fill you in later. I just thought that you should be prepared is all. All right, thanks. Is something wrong? Well, it depends on your point of view, I guess. Uh, Dominique's husband is dead. Look, I gotta go to work. Well, you've had most of the day. Have you thought about my offer? I've thought about it and I've rejected it for a number of reasons. I don't give a damn about your reasons. Well, you're gonna get them anyway. Despite these tragic circumstances, I am not going to leave this company. I've worked too hard for too long, and there's still too much to do. I'll force you out. Don't think I won't. You can try. It'll be an incredible waste of money and company time. Be a bigger waste of money not to. As far as I'm concerned, Miss Barrett, it's business as usual, status quo. You and I are still partners. Like hell! Which is exactly where you'll be before we'll ever be partners again. London. Tomorrow, the controversy concerning the movie My Girl. How should parents explain the death of an on-screen hero? 
plus the do's and don'ts of catalog shopping, and Morgan Freeman joins us on Good Morning America. On the next home, how to give your old...